Hi children, how are you all? I hope you are all are fine. You are doing good. Our government started these classes, and I am B Sunkamma, PSCRT from KGBV Guntakal. Today I am here to discuss you ninth class physical science subject. There are two lessons in our test book. Let us start our first chapter motion. In this, we discuss about introduction. What is relative? Motion is relative. Distance and displacement. Average speed and average velocity. Speed and velocity. Uniform motion. Non-uniform motion. Acceleration. and uh, equations of uniform accelerated motion introduction of motion we are familiar with the idea of motion we can see several examples of motion around us like uh, motion of people vehicles trains aeroplanes birds raindrops objects thrown into air etc we know that uh, it is due to the motion of the earth that phenomena like sunrise sunset changes in the seasons etc occur all these are possible only when the bodies are in motion before discussing about motion let us know about the meaning of the word relative which plays an important role in explaining motion what is relative a statement has a meaning only when there is a a relation between words relative right and left day and night up and down longer and shorter all these words are relative to each other in their own situation motion is relative like above examples motion is also relative to the observer according to the conservation of uh, somesh and stino the tree is uh, rest and car is in motion it show that uh, the position of the car the passenger and the driver or changing with the time conversation of the driver and the passenger in moving a car seems to be they are at rest and their surroundings are in motion we can say that from above discussion the motion or rest of an object depends on the observer the definition of motion is your body is said to be in motion when its position is changing continuously with the time relative to an observer the definition of rest is if the position of the body does not changing with respect to its surroundings then it is called the body is at rest next distance and displacement let us discuss an activity to draw path and dis- distinguish between distance and displacement
take a ball and throw it into the air with some angle to the horizontal observe its path and draw it on paper the figure shows the path taken by the ball the distance asp gives the distance traveled by the ball the length of ab gives the displacement of the ball distance is uh, the length of the path traversed by an object in a given time cgs unit of distance is centimeter and si unit of uh, distance is meter distance is a scale or quantity x displacement displacement is the shortest distance covered by the object in a specified direction cgs unit of displacement is centimeter and si unit of displacement is meter it is a vector quantity how we can say that uh, they are scalar and vector scalar the physical quantity which has magnitude but there is no direction is called uh, scalar for example time temperature mass length area volume density speed etc velocity the physical quantity which has magnitude as well as specified direction is called vector for example displacement velocity acceleration momentum impulse weight etc next i will come into average speed and average velocity a train named godavari express starts at uh, 5 pm from visakhapatnam and reaches hyderabad at uh, 5 am the next day as shown in figure draw displacement vectors from visakhapatnam to vijayawada vijayawada to hyderabad and uh, from visakhapatnam to hyderabad let the distance of the entire trip from visakhapatnam to hyderabad be 720 kilometers the journey time is 12 hours what is the distance covered by the train in each hour it is equal to 720 kilometer per 12 hours that is equal to 60 kilometer per hour let the displacement of the trip in the above example be 360 km due south to west what is the displacement in each hour the displacement per hour 360 km per 12 hours south to west that is equal to 30 km per hour south to west average speed the definition of average speed is the distance covered by an object in unit time average speed is equal to total distance per time taken that is equal to meter per second cgs unit of average speed is centimeter per second and si unit of average speed is meter per second average velocity the displacement of an object per unit time is called average velocity 
एवरेज वेलासिटी इज इक्वल टू डिस्प्लेसमेंट पर टाइम टेकन दैट इज इक्वल टू मीटर पर सेकेंड सीजियस यूनिट ऑफ वेलासिटी इज इक्वल टू सेंटीमीटर पर सेकेंड एंड एस आई यूनिट इज मीटर पर सेकेंड स्पीड एंड वेलासिटी The speed at uh, any instant is called instantaneous speed. We can describe the motion of a car moving along a straight road with varying speed using a distance versus time graph. Speed is uh, measured used for speedometer. X-axis. Uh, In x-axis, time in seconds. Y-axis, uh, distance in meters. I'll going to another activity. Observing the direction of motion of a body. Carefully, will a small object on the end of the string in the horizontal plane release the object while it is uh, whirling on the string? We observe that uh, the body along the tangent at the point where we release the body. try to release the object at different points on the circle and observe the direction of the motion of the body after it has been released from the string from this activity we will notice that the object moves on a straight line along the tangent to the circle at the point where we release it velocity the definition of velocity is the rate of change of displacement is called velocity cgs unit of velocity is centimeter per second and si unit of velocity is meter per second velocity is equal to displacement per time taken that is equal to s by t it is a vector quantity first i will going to uniform motion this graph uniform motion consider a cyclist moving on a straight road the distance covered by his with respect to time is given in the following table time t in seconds distance s in meters time is 0 1 2 3 and distance is 0 4 8 12 16 in 0 second the object is covered zero distance in 1 second object is covers 4 meters in 2 seconds it covers 8 meter distance in 3 second the object covers 12 meters and 4 seconds uh, the object is covers uh, 16 meter distance draw distance versus time graph for the given values in the table the graph will be shown in the figure The straight line graph shows that uh, the cyclist covers equal distance in equal interval of time. The equal distance is uh, 1 minus 0 that is equal to 2 minus 1 that is equal to 3 minus 2 that is equal to 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 second. Equal distance is uh, 4 minus 0 that is equal to 8 minus 4 that is equal to 
12 minus 8 that is equal to 16 minus 12 is equal to 4 meter in the direction of motion of the cyclist is assumed as uh, constant then we conclude that uh, velocity is constant the motion of the body is said to be in uniform when its uh, velocity is constant next uh, another topic is non uniform motion Describe an activity to explain the situation that uh, the speed changes but the direction of motion remains constant. Set up an inclined plane as shown in figure. Take a ball and release it uh, from the top of the inclined plane. The position of the ball at various times are shown in the below figure. And close observation we find that when the ball moves down on the inclined plane its speed increases gradually and the direction of the motion remains constant on inclined plane. Now push the ball till it acquires certain speed and release it with that speed from the bottom of the inclined plane we observe that the ball moves upward to a certain distance and comes back to the bottom from this we conclude that the speed changes but the direction of motion remains constant Next, explain with an example where speed remains constant but uh, its velocity changes. When continuously a stone which is tied to the end of the string draws its path of motion and velocity that turns at uh, different positions as shown in figure. Assume that the speed of stone is constant. We observe that uh, the path of the stone is a circle and the direction of velocity changes at every instant of time but the speed is constant. In this activity we observe that though speed remains constant its velocity changes. Next I will going to acceleration. We can change the velocity of an object by changing its speed or its direction of motion or both. In either case the body is said to be accelerated. It gives an idea how quickly the velocity of a body is changing. We experience uh, acceleration many in our day to day activities. Example, the rate of uh, change of velocity of an object is called acceleration. Acceleration change in velocity per time taken. CJ's unit of acceleration is uh, centimeter per second square and SI unit of uh, acceleration is meter per second square it is a vector quantity acceleration is uniform when equal changes of velocity are 
occur in equal intervals of time uniform acceleration is uh, the ratio of the change in velocity to time you taken applies for increasing and decreasing of velocity next i will going to equations of uniform accelerated motion a equal to delta v by delta e delta v by delta t the rate of change of velocity that is equal to constant acceleration a that is equal to v minus u by t that is equal to change in velocity per time taken a t is equal to v minus u then we get u plus a t is equal to v this is first equation the velocity v time t relation for a body moving with the uniform acceleration a in a straight line v equal to u plus a t where u is uh, initial velocity average velocity v plus u by 2 that is equal to s by t this is equation 2 put the v equal to u plus at in equation 2 then we get u plus at plus u by 2 equal to s by t that is equal to 2u plus at by 2 that is equal to s by t separation of fraction then 2u by 2 plus of at that is equal to s by t u plus of at that is equal to s by t plus multiplication t into u plus of at that is equal to s ut plus of at square is equal to s this is equation 3 the displacement s time relation for a body moving with the uniform acceleration a is uh, at a straight line is uh, s is equal to u t plus of a t square u is uh, initial velocity from equation 2 you substitute uh, equation 1 t equal to v minus u by a equation 2 is v plus u by 2 that is equal to s by t t is cross multiplication v plus u by 2 into t that is equal to s substitute t value in this equation v plus u by 2 into v minus u by a that is equal to s v plus u into v minus u by 2a that is equal to s then v square minus u square is equal to 2as this is the equation 4 and this v equal to final velocity u is equal to initial velocity a is acceleration uniform s is equal to displacement some important questions in this lesson are first one define acceleration second one write differences between distance and displacement third one define non uniform motion of a body fourth one draw the distance 
time graph when its speed decreases uniformly fifth one distinguish between speed and velocity sixth one a car covers of the distance at a speed of 50 km per hour and the other of at 40 km per hour find the average speed of the car seventh one derive the equations v equal to u plus at and s equal to u t plus of at square learn these questions okay Thank you.